All right, we are at the Hasbro booth from the Star Wars Celebration. Once again, we're fighting signal issues, but hopefully this will make its way onto YouTube, even if not in full live format here, so they can check it out. Lots of new stuff in the last couple days. We're starting out with some of the older stuff here over at the Action Fleet area. One of the big things this weekend has been the debut of Lola. If you watched Obi-Wan Kenobi, we won't spoil anything here, but you will recognize her and see her at play here. So the larger scale one on the top there in the middle that has all that extra activity, that is the $90 model. There's two, three sizes. No, uh, yeah, so there's a collectible two-inch version. And this then... This is the actual size of Lola in the content, uh, if you watch the episode. She also has, like, the ton as well, which is actually here. And she's fully posable. She's a collector, expander, put out different poses. It's really, really cute. Oh! It's actually pretty easy to fix. Um, so pre-order for these are all available on June 1st, so in three days. And um, it's available at all retailers in August. Thanks. Yeah. So Lola's getting a lot of attention. The other one getting a lot of attention is the new HasLab, the Force FX Elite Saber Forever. Again, another one of those. If you watched Obi Wan Kenobi, you'll recognize it. So this saber has all sorts of little upsides there. It is $500 to back on HasLab, and they need 5,000 backers by July 11th for it to go to production. So the last HasLab they did for Star Wars, the Rancor Black Series failed, so a lot of pressure on this one to succeed. Lightsaber Squad for the little ones, much cheaper versions of the lightsabers here, and obviously kind of comical, fun little things there. And then over here, some familiar ones, the Force FX, Dark Saber, we've got Ray's and Leia's Sabers all there. All right, let's look at some figures here. So we've got the recently announced Reva and the Wandering Obi-Wan in the series. Got some of the gaming grades down here. TVC line there. The new Vader Black Series helmet. Back here, get this again. Some more of the gaming greats. Some old figures there mixed in. All right, let's head over to the other Black Series display down this way. Let's see if we can find a clear path here. Some new stuff. We've got a lot of old stuff on over here. Some of these figures. Quite old, but they fill out. Nice to see them all in cabinets and stuff. But the new, new stuff over here. So we've got the Dark Trooper that was revealed this week, Cat Celebration. Comes with a charging station, and then they hook together so you can replicate the scene from season two of The Mandalorian, bringing that together. We've got our new Reef Garga coming. And then the artillery, artillery Storm Trooper helmet that was revealed. Over on this one, Obi Wan again, this time. We get to see it with Lola there. All 
All right, then we've got our Grand Inquisitor. And the fifth brother. I feel like the Inquisitors are going to suck me in. Because I'm trying to buy a lot less these days of Black Series. But I really... Han with the gray hair being re-released in the Archive Series. We got our Obi-Wan. Again. Leia. Tarkin coming back out with the interrogation droid via Archive Series again. Okay. All right, sister. Kind of like cool looking alien there. I think Ayla Secura was one of the ones that people were most excited about in the panel. A lot of people have been waiting on that Black Series figure. In the gaming greats, from Jedi Survivor, we've got the Riot Scout Trooper coming. They said there'd be more coming from that game as well. Over here, the Ma Maul that's been requested so much from the final season of Clone Wars. And then this is the three-pack TVC. It's going to be a fan channel exclusive. Got your Magna Guard in there. All right, let's take a look at a diorama for those that backed the Razor Crest. It's always neat to see these displays. I gotta say, seeing all these displays just has me that much more excited for San Diego, what that's all gonna look like. Bounty collection, some new Christmas Baby Yoda's coming in there. And then I know we've already seen them in stores, but they're showing off the plastic-free packaging that they're using. This is the new Obi-Wan Vader concept set. This is coming to Disney Parks and Shop Disney. So it's using the Macquarie concept designs to bring figures. So I'm sure we are going to see every one of these in the next few years at Disney Parks. We've got our troop builders here, Rebel Hawk. And then our new retro target series there. Going Luke X-Wing this time. All right, so our convention exclusive, our celebration exclusive, John Favreau as Paz Vizsla. And they've got him next here set up with Trapper Wolf, so Dave Filoni. So we've got our two showrunners of the Mandoverse side by side. Strange on the packaging because they call it John Favreau, parentheses Paz Vizsla. And this is just Trapper Wolf, so not sure about that, but got our displays there. One of the things a lot of people haven't been happy about is Hasbro is making you download their app to buy the exclusive figure. So you can obviously delete it afterwards, but it is strange to have that as a requirement, obviously. All right, the diorama. Currently available on Hasbro Pulse. I believe it's 229 And you're getting the Bib Fortuna from the Mandalorian giving way to Book of Boba Fett. It's a pretty nice display. Still 
bit pricey for my liking, but. All right, our Rope One line. The new Saw Guerrera that's gonna be coming soon. Her Antoc Merrick, Urso, and then the much waited for Bodie Rook. Got a few from Bad Batch, Rampart, got our Crosshair exclusive, Omega. Finally see an Echo there, and then we've got our Cad Bane. We've got our Cantina band down here. Here's the new comic, Infinities Vader. And then Leia from the Marvel comic. Antoc Merrick's X-Wing, and they did make the droid to go with it, sold separately though. Our TVCs. Our Emperor playset, and then all of our builder packs, just, just army builder sets. All right, all of our helmets here. We've got Fett, the re-armored version. You got your Mandalorian, and then Trapper Wolf for your Dave Filoni cosplay. All right. Here's the Death Watch. Helmet over here. And then this cabinet's all TVC mostly. Actually, it's all TVC, I guess. Got some of our carbonized here. Din Jaren with the mask off. Morak. That Morak. Got some of our retro collection on the top here. Sensor scope R2, all back there. Got our band. All right, we're right here. Sergeant Creel on display. A couple poses. Same thing with Chrysanthemum. Comic version. And then we've got our Galaxy's Edge figures and then we got a bunch of re repeats over here I believe yeah well no actually just more from Rogue One a lot of figures we've seen for a while here same for Bad Bath and then probably every collector that will ever watch this will have seen Lando many times out and about so all right, I think we're going to wrap up this video. Looking forward to doing a lot of videos like this at San Diego this summer and anywhere else we can find some fun toys on display. So follow along with us. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.